Notation is an input in an output system. It always has to have function notation. If you put y equals, not a function. If you put nothing in front and just the expression, not a function. Has to have function notation. It also must be simplified. So, to complete this function, I have to combine my terms. So I get point A, X. This is my function for this situation. This gives me my 20% off. Just this is my 20%. That's how you write that 20% in a function. However, I want it off, which means I want it subtracted. Part B. Part B is write a function for our five dollar discount in store. So I need to write a new function. I can't do f of x because f of x is 20% off. What am I going to use? Our new function. Before the five, our function notation. We use f of x for the first one. We're going to use for the second one. You said f of x. We already use f of x. We want a new function. No one. Can't be f of anything. F represents already this function. We need a different letter. D of x. D of x. D of X is now going to represent my five dollars off. X is still my variable because it's still the price of dog food. That doesn't change. We're still talking about dog food. What is changing is the type of function. So this one's F and this one's D. What does it look like to show five dollars off? What does it look like to show? X minus 5. So I got some errors in the past where they just put minus 5. Minus 5 from what? It has to be X minus 5. Functions. Ask those questions because you're going to get your performance test and you're not going to be able to ask me the questions. So questions on writing those functions. Yes. Point eight. I did one minus point twenty. So if you just put that in your calculator, one minus point twenty you'll get the point 80. You're combining my terms, right? If that would say 1x, that's still a big If that said 4x minus 3x, you would do 4 minus 3, right? So that's just the 1 minus point 0.20. Do you know where the 1 and the point 0.20 come from? Uh, no? So the 1 comes from because I'm going to buy one thing of dog food. Point 20 comes because I want 20% off of that dog food. Any other questions? Don't feel like your question's too small. Might as well ask them now. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna stop and do attendance. Okay. Maya, Malachi, Sierra. Kyle, Edwin, Ariel, Marissa, Marissa, Jenna. Carter's not back there, right? Oh, he's distance learning. Uh, James is not here. Daniel, 
Danny Chantel Brian. <clears throat> okay. The next part is you're going to have to write composite functions. So I already know that my f of x is equal to 0.8. Now, if you just put 0.8, that's fine as well. Okay. And that is for my percent off. And then I know that my d of x was x minus 5, and that is for my $5 store discount. So, part C, and then we have part D, is going to say, write a composite for... The dog food using percent coupon first. The next one is going to be right. I just go right. Write a composite. For the dog food. Using for the scalp. Okay? And so my two composite functions are either going to be f of d of x and d of the program. So, I'm not going to tell you what you want to do. I want you to take a minute and do both these component functions, and then I'm going to give you the answers. But I want you to try to do them on your own so you can see if you can get them done. Okay, the camera's going off for you to practice.
Okay, but one more minute of practice. All right, so which, it says write a compatible function for the dog for using the coupon first. Which one of these shows using the coupon first? F of D or D of F? Mm, lots of mixed things. So which one is the coupon? F or D? F. How do we know which one goes first? The first one is always inside what? The parentheses, because the order of operations, you always do the parentheses first. So you want F inside the parentheses. So this function is gonna be D of F of X. I'm gonna strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you to write both of these out, then figure out which one goes where. Do not just try to write it out on your own when you're doing this performance test. Write them both out and then break them down. Which one's in the parentheses, which one goes first? So say this is B of X, so this means my $5 is first. This one's F of X, that means my 20% is first. Okay, I need my 20% first, I'm gonna use this one. Contrary, we know my F of B of X is gonna go here. Okay? So now I write my function out. I know my D function looks like this, and I want my F function completely inside of it. So my F function is 0.80 X minus 5. On the contrary, my D function, sorry, my F function looks like this, and I want this X to be replaced with my entire D function. Now, when we want to simplify, the next step of the problem is going to say an amount. So if I told you my dog food, so if I said my dog food was $100, you're going to take that 100 Multiply it to the point eight and subtract five. On this problem, you're going to take that hundred. You're going to subtract five and multiply it to the point eight. There's no division in this problem. Division is actually going to happen very seldomly. Yes. 
At the end? Yep. The whole beginning of the assignment is all writing functions. The, the point of the assignment is for you to express how to write functions. And then at the end, I just want you to use it in real life. Kaya, what's happening? Questions on this? Does anybody completely not understand what happened? Yes, what part? Hmm? On what? Okay, but what about it? You gotta like ask a certain question. Okay, because you want whatever to be in the parentheses to be what you're gonna do first. So if you say write the compiling function using the coupon first, I want the function that represents the coupon to be inside the parentheses. Because in order of operations, parentheses comes first. So that same rule applies to functions. We're here, inside the parentheses, this D of X, that's the discount. So whatever's inside the parentheses, that's what you're always going to do first in the function when it comes to computing it. Make sense? A little bit? Kyle, you had a question? The subtracting? What do you mean? The first one? So what this is doing, right, it's taking my D function and putting it inside my F of X. So my D function is X minus top. Instead of that X though, Right, we want to take this x out, and we want to replace it with my entire f function. My f function happens to be the point e x, and then the minus sign stays on the outside. That's what that is. Are you subtracting the five what? No, for this problem. You do it in the parentheses first. So the hundred will be multiplied to 0.8 first. Then subtract the five. Because you do it in the parentheses first. What's outside the parentheses comes last. Bless you. Other questions? Please ask them. If you ask them during the performance task, I'm not going to answer them. Yes. I made it up. So in the assignment at the end, so a lot of people make up a number at the beginning. Please do not. I'm just asking you to write functions. When it's time for you to use a number, I'll give it to you in the test, the quiz. So towards the end of the quiz, I'll give you a list of items to pick from, and then you pick from. Yes. What to do next after you get this? For part C, nothing. If this says just write a composite function, that's all you do. That's done. There'll be like a part C, right? There'll be a part C that's going to say um, calculate for $100 and then you do that's when you take the function, depending on whatever function it tells you. So if I'm using this function, then you'll take 0.80 times 100 minus 5. And if you put that in your calculator with the parentheses, it'll calculate correctly. If you do it in two parts, where you did 100 times 0.80, enter, and then subtract 5, it'll give you the same thing. So that's a whole different part though. When it says write a composite function, you're not looking for a number. Remember, a function does not look like a number. So it's asking you to take the functions and make a new function. 
<clears throat> Other questions? Very good questions. Other questions? No? People were asking questions about the Google quiz, that algebra one. Remember, Google is just a computer. So when it gives you back a grade, it's not always correct because it's just a computer. So sometimes if you don't hit the subtraction sign and you hit the dash, it's going to mark it wrong. Don't worry about your grade until I actually submit your grades back to you. Excuse me. Any other questions? For sure? I'm going to open up the task. Okay. 